G'day guys. Going for a quick fish. <clears throat> Don't, on mats doesn't look like a big pond. So it shouldn't take me long to go around it. Frog pond. This is beautiful looking lake. It's been stocked with public money, like public fish stocking from our fish license money. Just straight away I just sent a sign that says No fishing, no swimming, no drink in the water. It's it's our water. Anyway, I'm gonna have a fish on here, it's a tough luck. I've got a little frog on. Now, if this was stocked with council funded money for an environmental reason, I wouldn't have a problem. But I can, straight away I can see it's a shallow pond. It's full of alligator weed, which is um, choking the system. And it's been stocked with public fish stock money for us to fish. Now, we're not allowed to fish here then they should have allowed this stockings to go to a pond that we can fish. So anyway, I'm gonna have a flick here anyway, stuff them. Like they might, might just all roll out. It looks like it's that shallow that every time you get a rain event, these fish should just roll into the river, but at the same time, there could be 4,000 angry bass in here. And what a beautiful place to walk around and like you imagine these bigger fish coming out of the lily pads it's gonna be crazy you can see bigger pockets out there so we'll work them but yeah i can i can see these lures if the bass are here i can see these lures getting smashed this sort of water. It's a little bit deeper than you think and there's so much food in here that, that they'll be healthy. Well, let's move around it. Wow, get a fine shower of rain. Quite ironic because we're going from floods rapidly diving into a drought right now. Like this is just play rain this. Oh, we'll go around to that bridge. By the way, I'm, I'm struggling to see see it, full stop. Like how you could have 4,000 bass stocked in here and them still being here. I won't be surprised if I do get them, but just there's something that's the alarm bells are ringing it's too much the watercolor is unreal there seems to be too much um weed too thick too gnarly stormwater wetland you never know though so they need like all stocking ponds need like a big hole them to go back to and uh, I can't see that with this it looks like sort of same level you got an excavator over there it'll be hard to dig it out yeah, there's a big boil over there but this water does look good though They're in there, they'll, they'll, oh, there's a bit of movement around that. No. I'll smash them. There's just a lot of alligator weed in there, eh, guys? And see that drain there? That tells me that the fish can just roll straight out into the creek and into the river. Which is what a lot of fish do when they don't like the, what they're in. 
Plus the natural spawning makes them want to run to the salt every autumn, so. It's supposed to be a 30 degree day. I got a cool southerly breeze behind my back. And uh, if there's ever a day, see look, that's a terrible sign there. That is, there, big cicada I think. Anyway, these are the perfect conditions for a bass. So, where are they? Can't see it. I think this is a waste of money, this one. Big carp just there. So we've got carp in here. Is it all, everything for them? We've got carp, we've got weed, we've got a ton of gamboozy. Oh, that was a boil. There was one. Oh, so there is bass in it. Oh, beautiful goldfish just there. Oh, got it. Ah, oh, I missed him. He were on the board. I think I'd rather that goldfish. Is it the goldfish that's going? No. Big coys. Unreal. So they are in here. Oh, little bass. All right. So there is bass in here. Hasn't taken us long to produce a little tiny one. Like he wasn't much bigger than this lure. Get away from it, bird. He's had three goes. It's not bad. There's a bit of line movement there, or water movement there. That could be those big carp, or it could be some more bass. They need these sort of pockets to come up on them. That's just there coming up, but he, like I said, these are, must be this year's stock, because where is he? They're tiny. The carp are huge. There's some beautiful koi's in here. His camera shot. Oh, I'll keep walking around the lake. But they're, they're very small fish I'm drawing. Just ended up with about four or five strikes over there. Fish right around to here. And I've just had another little one going crazy on it. But they're that small they can, all I can do is drag the frog down. See if I can get one. No, he won't come back. But he had three goes going across there. So that's two little ones. I'm expecting when a big one turns up though. Oh, see, straight away it was on it. It got it, got it. Ah. They are tiny. Tiny, tiny. Sit on top of the pad for a minute. Pop the pads. I'm gonna move on again. There's got to, there's got to be a bigger fish in here, but that's almost a dozen strikes now I've had. And I've just sort of realised too, reading these signs. It's the city of Blacktown, Bankstown, sorry, New Land Reserve. The restrictions at the bottom is by order of the general manager. So obviously the general manager of the Bankstown Council doesn't like fishing but I don't think he's got a right to uh, do that you catching anything? 
pick little tiny ones. Oh, I can't cool. land them, but I'm drawing them. <laughs> I'm just dirty. I was checking. There's been five public fish stockings, like with our fish license money in this pond, oh. which is a really good thing. Yeah. Um, it, it encourages kids to come catch and release. So I'm just checking to see how, how it's going. Yeah. But then I'm reading the signs and it's like, by the manager of Bankstown Council, no fishing. Oh. And it's like, what's the point of pu it, putting it? money into native fish? Yeah. Yeah. So. There's a damn big eel in there. Some beautiful, oh, it's the koi carp, they're magnificent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw them too, but that oh, yeah. huge. Yeah, yeah, well, we need the eel as well as the bass, so oh, okay. it all works together. Come on, one decent bass. Oh, the potential is unbelievable. You'll have these things hopping out of, coming out of lily pads and just smashing them when they get to a size. Wee. So without the bass, this would just end up a duck pond. Just mud. For the carp, the bass are working together in here. Cannot draw a bigger fish, so one that'll take this lure. I could downsize for them, but I don't really want to. We had one hook there for a split second. Try it again. It hooked him hooked, and he actually pulled a little tiny bit of drag. That's the same fish. Wasn't sure if it was a school. Yeah, I've got a bass under bass under my frog right now. He is that big. See it? To the push. Tiny. Like he watch. That's why I can't hook them. They are literally that big. But they're still having a go at the frog. I felt like I got one strike that was a bit bigger, but like the visual on them, I haven't seen anything bigger than that. So there is bass in here, but there's no, I'm, I'm not going to say there's any, anything more than this year's stocking. So the rains last year probably flushed a lot out. You got to say to yourself, is it worth it? Like, was it worth putting five stockings of over 4,000 fingerlings in this pond. I mean, I'd love to have giant big bass in here. Yeah, this stuff just here floating on top is what we call duckweed. It's just a giant cauldron of that duckweed. And then underneath you got the alligator weed. It's infested. Absolutely infested. The only thing saving grace is the lily pads with the shade. It'll uh, burn off a lot of the weed under it, but this place is a bit of a, I don't know. So there's your drain out there. That was built with a little bit more thought you could contain these fish. But it doesn't seem to be like that. Now I'm gonna try and catch one I'll go back to where I got that first strike. I've gone right around the lake now. I've drawn at least 20 bass. But... Not one of them's been big enough to get on a hook. So I'd say there's only this year's stocking that I've seen and with the conditions, I really don't think there's any other stockings in there. I'm not a fan of stinger hooks, but I've resorted to putting one on just to see if I can catch a bass. I've seen plenty. A little bit short. Oh, he's got a bite straight away, still missed it. What are you doing? Have you just been a clown? 
put a little gulp worm on because uh oh because i want to try and catch a bass and i had a koi slam it and that was a european just saying they want it this guys oh stay on i had to put cut down a four inch berkeley worm to 10 mil and i've got one of these stocky Now you can see he's just this year's fish he's just been put in beautiful little fish i found nothing whoops stay here get in there i found nothing at all to tell me but any other any other uh, stockings have gone in so they either haven't been put in or they've all rolled out but anyway here's our the evidence that this this has got uh, fish in it and could you imagine the explosive frog fishing and cicada fishing you'd have in here with bigger fish um, a few little improvements they've got an excavator there they could dig out edges they could really improve this and they could raise it a little bit and these guys would thrive in here absolutely thrive and you just stop it from becoming a, a filthy duck pond i mean look at the weed that's the alligator weed down there and that's the duck weed there Yeah, it's just a little chunk of Berkeley worm, gulp worm. See you later, mate. And the funny thing is, I missed uh, two koi's now on that bit of worm, which the koi's are one of the hardest fish for me to catch. I just get a real rush out of that, so. So it's, this dam has potential, but when you think about all the other dams, like we're talking 10 dams in Sydney with stockings, this says we're not allowed to fish it. Uh, I think five other dams we're not allowed to fish. Plus, if, oh, actually, there's another dam over here. There's a couple at the airport. And then there's Penrith Lakes we're not allowed to fish as well. So there's really only about four or five dams that have got public stockings in them. And I think that we need to get a handle on where these fish are getting put in. When I say we, the, the fishermen, the locals, people are going to benefit from the resource. So your thoughts, guys? I do listen to all your comments. I'm just slack at answering them, and I do appreciate them. You here, he can do magic on this pond. I think that's what he's here for. I hope. Well, those things. I don't know what they is. They might be bike jumps they've made there. Pretty cool. <sighs> all right, I'm walking out. Had to check it. I'm pretty adamant there's only one year of stockings in here though. <sighs> Thank you for watching. I'm just watching these dragonflies, you know, they'd be getting popped. Look at them all. It's a little tip when the bass are on, cast at the dragonflies. That's how I got that last one. I was just casting at him as they come scooping down on the water the bass fall on. I personally think this is a waste of our money. And you know, like Penrith Lakes have poisoned the weed beds on the, in the lake where the fish stock. I don't suggest you do that here, but there's better ways of uh, controlling the weed, the pest fish and the native fish than what they're doing here. And I just think our money could be better spent somewhere else hundreds and hundreds of other dams that would be better than this anyway it was sort of interesting had potential that's what I'm gonna say it had potential yeah definitely poison all the weed and uh, I was told once before, so the kayakers don't drown. But what about a life jacket?